Welcome back, Agent Nation. My name, god damn that shit hurt, is Agent Beamstar. Let's get right into the news. For our first story of the day, it's a sad one, ladies and gentlemen. I've lost my fedora. I don't know where it went, so I'm gonna have to buy a new one because it doesn't even feel right to do these 2K dramalers without my fedora. This video is sponsored by TikTok. Ladies and gentlemen, for the past week, I've been uploading TikToks. I've been uploading some short form exclusive gaming content on there, so be sure to check it out. I'm gonna leave a link in the description, download the app, and follow my page. I know you're at least a little bit curious what I'm doing on there. For our next story of the day, Yo, this one's a funny one. Now, Shaquille O'Neal has been trying to promote his new game, NBA 2K Playgrounds 2. He's a commentator in the game. He might even have shares in the company for all I know, but if you guys remember, last year, NBA 2K bought NBA Playgrounds and renamed it NBA 2K Playgrounds 2. And while Shaq was trying to promote the game, he might have done an oopsie. That ain't no three, good shot, Kobe. Look how he pressed it, look at this man. That ain't no three, good shot, Kobe. Shaq! I'm flabbergasted, ladies and gentlemen. If you pay close attention, there's a guy playing the game for him in the back there. You see that? I cannot believe what I'm seeing, Shaq. The least you could do is play your game. If you guys didn't know, this is not the only game Shaq had a heavy hand in producing. Shaq has his own line of Shaq Fu games. It's like these 2D platform fighters and it's, it has like an old school tone to it. And, and one came out like last year, if I'm not mistaken. So you would think Shaq would be some sort of gamer or at, at least heavily invested in gaming. Doesn't seem like it. I thought it was funny news. For our next story of the day, Lord knows, man. I've been trying to do this 2K drama alert for a while because I wanted to talk about this story very, very bad. Ladies and gentlemen, we all know Ronnie 2K was performing at the NBA All-Star Celebrity Game. And of course we had high hopes, man. NBA 2K Twitter put out a tweet saying, Here's your official 2K19 rating before the celeb game, Ronnie. Y'all think his rating is gonna go up or down based on his performance? And obviously, you ask a question that open-ended. That's a lob that people are gonna windmill 360 dunk. And it was only made worse by the fact that Ronnie had the poorest of performances in the game and oh lord, the internet had a joy making fun of him. There was the oh so infamous awkward high five? I don't even know what that was. Ronnie 2K, with some heavily contested defense. <laughs> ah, this is something about his face, man. It's a very funny meme. And as one would expect, Reddit decided to put together lowlights of his performance in the game. Tonight, we'll find out if he can shoot a basketball without a game pad, wearing number 2K, Ronnie 2K. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I lost blood flow to the brain. Am I tripping or did nobody clap? Okay, I didn't even know that happened. That's hilarious. Did that happen for every player or was that just Ronnie? All right, let's keep going. About what this weekend is like and, and all the events that are going on. And, and, and come in and, and, and work. And the guys that we have around as well. It's, it's a great, great environment. <laughs> To watch and <laughs> doing right okay, I can't. I can't. Ron, I feel bad for Ronnie, man. We know Ronnie's not a hooper, he was just kind of thrown in the situation. Ladies and gentlemen, I have never in my life had a funnier time watching the Celebrity All Star game. Yes, more fun than I did when Kevin Hart was on because we know Ronnie because we're in the community, and just to see him go out there and <laughs> hey, listen, man, that was a story. There wasn't much to it aside from. Ronnie being memed on the internet. For the next story of the day, ladies and gentlemen, this is a 2K drama alert first because Agent Zero finds himself in the news. Now, I wanna make a very important distinction here. I am not Agent Zero, I am Agent Beamstar. There is a difference. So there's gonna be no bias when it comes to reporting on this next news story. Agent Zero has trolled a bunch of people in the past, like Cash, Los, uh, Davis, Swante, Hank the Tank, you might have watched some of them. There's a playlist up above and a link in the description. Hilarious videos. So I was given a lob and I said, I'm gonna throw it down and troll my Chris Amber. Now in that troll, I didn't expect him to get really, really heated. 
I kind of wanted him to, but I didn't expect it. And all I could really do in most troll videos is try and poke and prod to get the reaction I'm looking for. But most of the time, like the time when I trolled Cash, they're smarter. They know to duck and dodge. They know what I'm trying to do for the most part. It's not too hard to tell when I'm trolling. I got away with one on this one though, and Mike Krizamba was not happy. I don't know how anybody could be after looking at the comment section of that video. So Mike Krizamba took to Twitter to put out these tweets. Agent definitely got me to rage in his video, lol GG's to him. I basically lost my mind. TBF, it took us three hours to play because he was trolling. But being real, if someone called me out, said there's no shot I'd have someone else Okay, sorry guys, I just woke up, right? So I can't read properly, that's one of the fucking side effects. If someone called me out and they said there's no shot, I'd have someone else play for me. I think he's ducking, hmm, emoji. He put out another tweet, he said this. By the way, Agent didn't show it, but the first game I played against Steezo was on the anti-up court. We had a game, but one of his teammates purposefully quit and told me just to play Agent in full court one-on-one. -on -one. I beat him. Where was that in the video? This part specifically irritated me because it's just a lie. There was an anti-up game played true, but I was kicked out of that anti-up game. So how you expect me to record a game that I'm not clearly a part of? On top of that, while that game was happening, Mike and his team were not in the Discord call. So I didn't want to ruin the reaction. Why would I Why would I show off and illustrate all the crazy dribble moves, all the crazy ankle breakers with Steezo on my account if I'm not there to get his reaction? That's the whole point of the troll. So I'm not there to record the video and I didn't have his reaction for it. And so I told Steezo, do not try in that game. I don't want to spoil his reaction. So putting a tweet like this on Twitter, pretending acting like you beat Steezo, come on man, that's just disingenuous. In reality, when I told Steezo to go ham and actually try, he was on the floor half the game, bro. This didn't have to be that big, my guy. I troll people all the time, and if you know me, you know there's one day where you might be susceptible to the same thing. And at the end of the day, it's all for entertainment. It's nothing more than that. And nobody else I've trolled has ever made it anything more than that. Why does this have to be more than that? So I decided to put out a tweet saying, Mike, if anything, I held back footage that would make you look even worse. That anti-up game, I got kicked because Fridge didn't have enough VC on his account. One, you want a game against an AI, Two, how do I record a game I'm not in? Jeez, dude. Mike, I'ma just say this, bro. You don't listen when I speak, a lot of the time. Had you have listened, you would have known Steezo was on my account. Because I uploaded a quick little vid to TikTok where I almost exposed myself, but there was plenty of opportunities where if Mike was just paying attention, he would have known I wasn't on my account. Because it's complicated to remember when everybody's on different accounts, who to call who. And so maybe like 10 times during the recording, I accidentally called Steezo, Steezo, out loud. You should have been paying attention, my guy. That's on you. Steezo decided to get into the mix on Twitter. He said, they also told me to keep it close, but don't beat you to give it away. You still salty over those L's, I can tell. Ha 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 ha. Mike Krizemba responded saying, end of the day, we both do this for a living. I would have spent those four hours making other content, but instead you cost me views, new subs, and ad money. You also said after the games that you wouldn't post until we actually play, but you never answered my DMs, but congrats, you got me. Mike, bro. Chill, relax, my guy. Mike, at the end of the day, I get it. Trolling is not supposed to be fair. By definition, every single person I've trolled, I've just wasted their time. Because if they're playing to record a video, if they're playing to stream, or if they're just playing to play, in every single circumstance, they would rather be doing anything else than have me waste their time. But that's the whole essence of it. It's not meant to be fair, or else by definition, it would never be trolling. Anyway, uh, it wasn't supposed to invoke hurt feelings. That's never the fucking idea. Um, but yeah, man, I can't really control how people react to certain things or how people feel about certain things, so I'm just gonna move on from the story. Actually, there's one more tweet. Deleted my tweets about Agent Zero trolling me, realized I clearly took it too seriously, especially because I'm an idiot because his team referred to his player as Steezo like 12 times. Sorry for the drama. Yeah. Steezo put out a tweet after that, so I guess the story is not really over. Some of these big YouTubers be way different behind the videos. AIDS lost a lot of respect for Mike. Sigh, he's a like, there's a way to deal with things. When I trolled Cash Nasty, he DM'd me and said, yo, just don't ever do that shit again. And I was like, all right, man, I had an opportunity to troll, I took it, but I can't troll every time, there's a certain limit, right? So I was like, all right, man, my bad. Cause if you watch that video, and there is a link in the description, like he had a very good reason to be pissed at me because I messed up a pretty important game for him. Anyway, that's really the end of the story. The more trolling that I do on YouTube, the more people expect it and the harder it becomes to do. So I like, I'm gonna just keep a low profile for a while. For our next story of the day, ladies and gentlemen, some fantastic news. For the first part of this story, LD2K is now back a part of NBA 2K, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. 
He used to be the community manager for NBA 2K. He left about a year ago, and now he's back, but this time as a different role. He's gonna be hosting 2K TV because Rachel Demita left a few months ago. Man, I couldn't be happier to have him back. Do you know how sad the whole community was when LD2K left last year, man? Everybody was defeated, man. We're like, no, not LD. So it's beautiful to see him back, man, and uh, I don't really usually care about 2K TV, but I'ma tune in just for my guy, man. And it was actually a two-parter to that because there was another tweet from Alexis Morgan saying, I'm so excited to finally announce I'm joining NBA 2K family as LD2K's co-host on NBA 2K TV in addition to my current role with the Grizzlies. So uh, if you care about 2K TV, it's gonna be LD2K and Alexis Morgan co-hosting. For the next story of the day, you might have seen some videos already, ladies and gentlemen, but it seems like the, some WNBA teams are gonna be in NBA 2K20. Now, Agent Zero, does this matter? No, because nobody plays play now. <laughs> Renee Montgomery, who I assume is a WNBA player, quote tweeted a tweet saying, going to be in the upcoming game of NBA 2K, that is. So everybody was like, what? I don't even know if she knew she wasn't allowed to say something because I mean, they're not even remotely close to talking about 2K20 yet. So this brings up one question to me, right? Because I don't really care if there's WNBA teams in 2K, the same way I don't care if EuroLeague teams, I don't even care that NBA teams are in NBA 2K play now, because I don't play play now and most people don't play play now. What I care about and what would make this very interesting is if 2K added women in the creative player modes like My Career and Park and pro -Am. Now that would be interesting. Now I think I remember hearing a story like a couple years ago about one of the 2K developers talking about how that would introduce a lot of challenges in terms of physics to the game and so that's why they haven't been doing anything like that as of yet so it seems like it's gonna be highly unlikely that you can create a woman in NBA 2k in my career as your storyline but I mean if you play play now and for some reason you want to play with like a 30 overall team now you can do it for the next story of the day ladies and gentlemen this one's a doozy on the last 2k drama alert I talked about how Zaire Wade Dwayne Wade's son was making some comments about Nadex's channel being terminated now I Apparently after that video was launched, Zaire himself went to Instagram to say this. No, that's not me on Twitter or 2K. This is my Snapchat, Zaire Way 2, only social accounts. So apparently, not only has the whole community been bamboozled into thinking that that was the real him, but on top of that, NBA 2K themselves have been bamboozled because they verified the account in the game to a fraud. <laughs> so that's really all there is to the story. It's not him. So there is that, ladies and gentlemen, which also draws into question, Le LeBron's son made a Twitter account and he was following a ton of people in the 2K community. So there's also a possibility that that might be a fake too, although I don't really know. For the next story of the day, annoying TV is in the news, ladies and gentlemen, because he was talking a little bit of smack on Twitter. Sophia Foria, NBA 2K League Pro, put out a tweet saying, 2K League isn't pro-am. Different builds, badges, movement, players, scenery, stages. Gotta have the right mindset coming in or you're gonna be in for a rude awakening. Annoying TV himself quote tweeted that saying this, I swear everybody in the league just be talking BS. 2K League isn't pro-am? What? When did all these league players have such a positive energy? Two years ago, it was nothing but trash talking. Man, them contracts must have brainwashed y'all. No offense to Saf though, I just think differently. <laughs> I thought it was funny because I follow a lot of prime guys and yo, they won't shut up with all the positivity. It actually frustrates me how positive they are. Because I'm a positive guy, but I don't have to broadcast 24 seven just how positive I'm being. I just be the positive. I feel like that's rooted in insecurity. I'm not talking about him specifically, but just like, if you have to always talk about some shit you're doing, you can't just do it for yourself, then I feel like there might be an issue with you specifically. Anyway, I thought it was funny because I kind of agree with annoying on that one. Hmm. For the next story of the day, ladies and gentlemen, the news just keeps getting worse and worse for Nadex, man. The dude can't catch a break. He put out a tweet saying this. Guys, I just want to let you know my second channel, Glizze, just got terminated. They found out I created the account and not my wife, so they terminated. I had my email, which was mine, and not my girl's. This is very sad, but I will not stop. My girl will be making a new account. So his main channel terminated. His second channel terminated. He used his wife's account. That's terminated. And then... There's been more termination. TNB channel got terminated, WTF. 
I didn't even own the channel. So now the team channel of the clan that Nadex is in was also terminated. I'm like, God damn, he can't catch a break. I don't know, man. I literally don't know, bro. WTF, man. I'm using my girl's channel she made months ago. I signed in on a different IP address and shout it out and it gets banned. <sighs> so if you guys didn't know the story, it was a few drama alerts back. Uh, Nadex, he got in trouble with YouTube over what they claimed were false copyright claims that he was abusing the system. And so they terminated his channel and they just are going on a rampage, terminating everything that remotely belongs to him. And if you didn't know, he's also not allowed on Twitch because he's been banned on there as well. And he's been banned on Twitter like four or five times now. So it's like, <laughs> I don't think I've ever in my life seen somebody get banned that many times across so many different platforms. I kind of feel bad for him. I know a lot of people hate Nadex or whatever because he does so much things that irk you, especially if you don't agree with him a lot of the times. But man, I right, listen, bro. Here's all I know. If, when you work so hard to get to a point, to have it erased so many times, that is just like, it hurts. And to work your way back up from ground zero knowing how up you were at one point, that's tough. So I sympathize with the guy um, and hopefully everything gets settled. For the next story of the day, Cole the man is taking shots, ladies and gentlemen. He put out a tweet saying this. Your girlfriend cheats on you with this guy, what are you gonna do? And it was a picture of Am Davis, which I presume was like a year ago when he had like, I don't know what hair that is. Joe Knows, AKA, it's that boy responded saying, always wanted to see my girl with another girl. <laughs> And I couldn't have thought of a more beautiful response myself. Ladies and gentlemen, that's been it for the news. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. If you're new, subscribe to the channel, man. I'm uploading these uh, once every couple weeks, you know? I'll see you guys in the next one, man. If, you, if you're still here, though, click on one of these four videos. If you haven't done that, then you're just bugging, my guy. There's four of them. Click one. <laughs> What's wrong with me?